you know, our staff's been working really hard to respond to quite a bit of um, impacts from the hurricane so far. On the Big Island, because they got hit first, uh, we're responding to a lot of flooding there. Kilo Bay Front Road is still shut down um, because of flooding. Uh, we're still working on um, Daniel Crane, you know, a highway to clear the debris and the water that's on that route right now. We did clear a Konepuli Highway. Uh, we pushed the debris off to the side and removed some trees that were undercut in that area to make it safe. But we're still asking the residents to use that for, uh, for emergency access only or only if you really have to because it's very sensitive to um, the weather right now. On Maui, we're still dealing with uh, landslides and tree falls on the Hana Highway and Honopi Lani Highway areas. Um, and we're still um, dealing with power outages on different portions. Um, uh, Miko has been doing a really good job of following up to get the power back on again. But anytime there's a power outage, we have to reset the signals um, that operate in those areas. On Oahu, uh, we have uh, power outages happening downtown area. We also have tree falls down in the countryside um, and on Franklin Highway. Um, so we're we're pretty busy um, trying to respond to all these issues. Um, bottom line for for all of the viewers. I'm hoping that everybody is staying at home right now, um, sheltering in place, and trying to stay off the system because definitely um, there's a lot of impacts out there. And Ed, what can you tell us about the Pully and the H3 closures there as well right now? Absolutely. So Pully closed at 8 o'clock today, um, or tonight, sorry, and um, H3 shut down earlier today to make sure that we could stage our people there. What we did was uh, we staged from this morning. It took us about three and a half hours to get all of our vehicles up there. So we have about three, three quarters of a mile of vehicles staged in the tunnel itself. Uh, the city will be bringing their vehicles up tomorrow. So we'll have about 200 people in the tunnels uh, ready to respond to any disasters that come up um, as we go through. So the left lane inside of the tunnel on H3 are closed. The right lanes are still open, so there's still access to that area. Now, DOT also includes airports as well as harbors. Any problems there with either of those? Yeah, so airports, uh, we had some issues at, um, at the Maui airport. Uh, there was a power outage for a while. Um, because of that, our backup generators kicked in, um, and um, it took a while for the system to reboot. Um, the uh, power outage was resolved at about midnight or so. I'm sorry, 11 o'clock. So everything is back to speed again. No other issues on the other airport. Um, harbors, uh, everything's going well as well. And what is your main message to our viewers out there? I know one of the me messages is if you don't have to be out and about, stay home. Absolutely. The big message for everybody is please take care of your families. Take care of yourselves and your families. Uh, we're, we're helping to make sure that we take care of the system so it's available as soon as the event is done. Uh, but it's also available during the event to ensure that emergency access is available for anybody who has to get out there. All right, thank you so much, Ed Sniffen, joining us live by phone from the DOT.